Uh, hello traders, uh, today is the 8th of July uh, 2010 uh, and this video is about the lower time frame, okay? The lower time frame, the lower time frame, the lower time frame is uh, where uh, most of the traders are busy trading, okay? As myself, I started trading first, uh, my favorite uh, lower time frame was a 3 minute chart okay some people will tell you that their favorite time frame is a five minute chart another person will say it's a 50 minute chart another person will say seven minute uh, uh, time frame another person will say it's 10 minute time frame okay and everybody will tell you that this one is the best the other one is not okay so blah 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 so this video will clarify a bit about the lower time frame on this chart here, I have a 30 minute chart of the Euro USD. Okay, now this uh, 30 minute chart is uh, we can consider this uh, 30 minute chart as a higher time frame if we are trading on a 3 minute chart. Okay, so you are trading on the 3 minute chart, the 30 minute chart will definitely control that 3 minute chart, it will definitely also control the 5 minute chart, it will also control the 10 minute chart so in this case this uh, 30 minute chart will be a higher time frame for somebody who is trading on the five minute chart okay very important for somebody who is trading on the on the well let's say let's say you are uh, trading on the 30 minute chart if you are trading on the 30 minute chart okay you may use either the daily chart or at least the four hours chart as your higher time frame so the mistake that traders are making on the lower time frame is that they come now if you are your 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 lower time frame is 30 minute chart okay suppose your lower time frame is 30 minute chart you do not make your trading decision on your lower time frame i repeat your trading decision must never be made on your uh, lower time frame what i'm calling here your lower time frame is the time frame that you use for your entry point okay so the signal is located in the higher time frame our entry point is where we enter the train okay or we like to enter the train and participate in the market so somebody who is saying that my favorite uh, lower time frame is 30 minute chart should never make their trading decision based slowly on the 30 minute chart you need to move higher to see the bigger picture otherwise you will be surprised you will receive some nasty surprises why because sometimes like here now you see the price display on this 30 minute chart lower uh, lower high lower highs if i show you clearly here from here we have this high this uh, lower high here another lower high here another lower high here okay but then if you don't pay attention to your higher time frame which in this case if you are trading on a 30 minute chart you may go to the 4 hour chart or the daily chart you do you are not paying attention to that you are busy you are stubborn you close your eye people told you many many times are you still doing the same thing over and over making your decision on your entry time frame your entry time frame is where you are entering the, the, the chart frame that you are, you are looking at all the time you are busy doing that You'll be surprised that you sell maybe you sell in this zone here only to see the price bounce back up because you fail to locate that there is a support level value support level on your higher time frame probably the four hours in this case okay and then the price uh, turn around and went up okay you see you see something has happened in this zone here but somebody on the 30 minute chart will never see that you may know one way or another i'm not talking about that you may know a bit but if you were looking on your higher time frame you will know that ah we are approaching a key valid support level and then you will stop buying instead of buying no stop because you see that in this 30 minute chart the trend is down okay this is the mistakes or if you on the 30 on the three minute chart your higher time frame is 30 30 minute chart okay three minutes is your entry point is your favorite time frame for a lower time frame you use maybe 30 minute chart or hourly chart as your your i prefer 30 minutes uh, in this case okay as your higher time frame so you have to pay attention to what's going on here when you are busy doing your own thing on a three minute chart in order to avoid some nasty surprises so to speak okay there's nothing uh, nasty here 
uh, if you put your guarantee stop loss okay and you are not using more than five percent of your whole trading account it shouldn't be nasty because you know first the consequence before you even enter the trade because this is about uh, risk management i need to mention here that we should not trade with money we cannot afford to lose okay and also be aware of the risk okay and keep learning and practice master it okay till uh, you know that okay you do you know exactly what you are doing okay now just to quickly check my time with a lovely youtube here okay everything is okay here now why am i saying this because the lower time frame people are making their trading decision on their lower time frame their, their entry time frame okay yeah, people are busy doing that you should not do that on this uh, 30 minute chart of the euro usd uh, like if i come at this particular point here and i see this lower high here i wait for my trailer to be broken here and then i will sell okay but when i'm doing that i will go to the higher time frame which will be in this case four hours yeah, to see whether even though the price is giving me here a lower a lower high here okay am i approaching are we near a key valid support level because in the downtrend the price is looking for a better support level so i need to be aware that the, i have enough room whether the price has enough room to move for me so that i may be rewarded so anytime i'm selling if i'm using 30 minutes as my entry point in this case and i see another lower lower high here and i want to sell after the trailer is broken i will check my higher time frame uh, either four hours or daily chart to see whether there's enough room okay no near support in this zone that will stop the price turning around okay right here on this particular 30 minute chart something interesting that uh, i was telling the traders all the time is the definition of the downtrend lower lows and lower high okay as you can see here the power of this frame lower lows lower high lower lows lower highs lower low lower highs lower low okay now here this is not a lower high anymore you see it failed to display a lower high here and then also in the downtrend we pay attention to the lows okay right here after this low here the price fell right here to display a lower low this is our signal to tell us that ah something has changed it does not mean that the downtrend has completely changed you may go to the higher time frame and find out maybe the market is just resetting itself or consolidating a bit only to continue the movement to the uh, to the same direction in this case it went up a bit okay so you pay attention to the definition of your uptrend and the downtrend using your lower time frame in direct uh, relationship with uh, your direct uh, uh, higher time frame i hope uh, i make myself uh, uh, clear in this video that you understand what i'm talking about here that you find this uh, video also useful that uh, you may start uh, uh, bringing your trading uh, to uh, a different dimension okay as i said to you before uh, myself my experience i went through the same thing and uh, and i know what i'm talking about here so our tool is the tst w24 trading system our website is www.stochasticmacd.com okay we use uh, we, we we belong to one team the team of the tst w24 uh, trading team our goal is to trade like professional traders if you do not want to trade like professional traders my advice to you is that do not trade at all because the professional will make your life difficult if you if you if you try to step on their feet doing things completely on your own in your own way in your own time they will definitely uh, try to kick you out okay so to speak all right so we try our goal is to trade like a pro ordinary people aiming to copy the professional traders walking in their footsteps instead of stepping on them okay our tool the number one tool that we use we have five tools but the first tool that is released now is the tstw24 trading system our main reward is consistent winning trade that is possible it's possible to have a consistent winning trade some will say that okay you cannot have a consistent winning trade but we believe that you can achieve consistent winning trade like here on this particular 30 minute chart if you locate the trend and you locate the strength of the trend on your higher time frame and you see the price on this particular time frame display lower lows and lower high 
and you know exactly what the power is doing you know that the signal is one thing and the entry point is another thing you know about the market patterns okay and you, and you understand the language of the price you will be able to make consistent winning trade okay so this is about okay the lower time frame do not make your trading decision on the lower time frame whichever time frame you are using please back your trading decision in the higher time frame before switching back to the lower time frame till next time enjoy yourself and be very happy thank you